The astronomer and broadcaster Sir Patrick Moore has died at the age of 89. His BBC programme, The Sky at Night, was broadcast for more than 55 years and made him a familiar figure to millions. The most recent episode was only shown on Monday. With scientists and fans paying tribute to his work, Nick Hyam looks back on his life. Good evening. Well, I'm afraid Burnham's comet turned out to be something of a disappointment. The young Patrick Moore seemed a serious sort of chap when the sky at night first made him Britain's favourite stargazer. He made his very last appearance on the programme just last week, talking about water on Mercury. Here yeah, about water, the poles of Mercury. I'm a total sceptic. What are you with? Along the way, he became one of the nation's favourite eccentrics, a defiantly old-fashioned man whose passion for astronomy had first been kindled by this book when he was just six. He had his own observatory in his back garden. His early work had involved mapping the moon, maps which helped the Americans plan their moon landings. Astronomy has just grown through leaps and bounds, and it's, it's people like Patrick who've been able to put it into perspective, help Ordinary people understand the enormity of the universe. There's the diamond ring, an incredible sight. Thousands of amateur astronomers caught the bug from his infectious enthusiasm. And that is the end of this eclipse of the century. And by Jove, was it worth seeing? The young Heather Cooper wrote to him, asking if being a girl was a handicap for an astronomer. Couldn't believe he replied to me. It says, from Patrick Moore, Dear Miss Cooper, Many thanks for your letter. Let me assure you on one point. Being a girl is no handicap at all. I just thought that generosity of spirit was fantastic. It really urged me on to try for a career in astronomy. His monocle and machine gun delivery were easy to parody. This was Ronnie Barker. Hello, good evening and welcome to this special... He was happy to send himself up as well, as here, launching a set of astronomical stamps at Stonehenge. It does count as an astronomical monument, and therefore I think it's very suitable indeed to use this um, as a, a launching vehicle for the post office's new astronomical stamps. Are you a stamp man? Are you a collector? No. <laughs> Not at all? No. <laughs> Music was a great love. He played the piano and composed for the xylophone. With his energy and range of interest, he could have made a fortune, but said his astronomy would have suffered, and he always put astronomy first. Sir Patrick Moore, who died today. Tributes have flooded in for broadcaster Sir Patrick Moore, whose passion and dedication inspired generations of astronomers. Wearing his trademark monocle, he presented the sky at night for an unprecedented 55 years and became a household name. He passed away earlier today at his home in West Sussex, surrounded by his friends, carers and his beloved cat, Patelmi. Damon Green on Sir Patrick's inspiring life. <laughs> His was a career which nobody will ever match. It began in a different age. Good evening. Well, I'm afraid Burnham's Comet turned out to be something of a disappointment. When the show, which will always be identified with his life's work, began, no man had yet entered space, but his broadcasts encompassed the heights of the space age. There they are. There they are. A time when travel to the moon seemed set to change man's destiny. Do you think, from your knowledge of the moon, having been there, that it is going to be possible in the foreseeable future to set up scientific bases there on anything like a large scale? Oh, I'm quite certain that we'll have such bases uh, in our lifetime. By the time his last Sky at Night was broadcast last Monday, he'd been presenting the show continuously for 55 years, a record which will surely stand, and in his time he has inspired generations to look to the stars. I never saw him refuse anybody anything. People would write to him, you know, eight-year-old children would write to him and say, can you come and set up my telescope or something? He would do it. He would answer every letter. He would help people out by giving them equipment to the point where really he gave everything away. He had very little left. Nobody doubted his eccentricity, something which he wore with pride all his life. But whatever his on-screen persona, whatever his private character, scientists respected him for his devotion to science. It was uncanny. If you were interviewed by Patrick, you had the feeling that you were talking to somebody who knew more about your subject than you did. 
And uh, you know, he was. You thought he was a television interviewer. He wasn't. He was a scientist. There's the diamond ring. An incredible sight. For half a century, he showed his viewers the value of wonder and the breadth of human horizons. And all it took was to look at the sky at night. Well then, good night. <laughs>